Today, we look at an instrument that motivates you to create and also sparks inspiration. It's the K300 with the RS2 system on it, a hybrid instrument that really might be the perfect instrument for a studio or home recording. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We appreciate your support and we love to interact with you. Kawhi makes a fantastic instrument. Just I all, love this thing. All around makes a fantastic instrument. The RS2 system is really, I would say, one of the coolest creation machines. I think we, we said that in the intro, but it's just, it really ties together a whole bunch of modern day technology with incredible craftsmanship of, a, of an instrument like a piano. If you haven't played one, we highly recommend coming to either San Antonio or Austin. We have two Alamo Music Centers um, in uh, San Antonio. We have one in Austin. We do have piano stores in Kansas City and in St. Louis. They're called Kawhi Piano Galleries there. Um, and as well as in Michigan, and if you're in the Detroit area, Bloomfield area, um, or Traverse City, go check out Michigan Pianos. That's also a, a, a piano company that That's we... That's what I want. I, w I want a field trip. I want to go. go? Yeah, I want to go. I uh, think we might go up there I, I and, go. and do some videos. Uh, they have some really cool instruments. Oh, that, that would be great. Um, some really nice nine-footers that we might go check out up there. Um, but Ted and I today have an incredible instrument. Again, if you have, haven't played one, please go check out one of the stores and play one. They should all have one of these hybrid editions, the RS2. So let's talk about... Yeah, well, first things first. Yeah, yeah. This thing is an acoustic piano that I absolutely love. It's 48 inch upright. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know what it is about the action, okay? But I really love the black keys on this thing. I love the way it plays and I love the way it sounds. It's a wonderful piano. Mm -hmm. Now I'll let you talk about the digital stuff. Well, I, I just, <laughs> I, we rewind to what silent instruments were in the 90s, moving into the early 2000s, what place it held in, you know, in for the consumer. So Well, it went from being a brand new concept of um, a silent piano. And, the, the and idea then it was became a marketing problem for Yamaha because mm -hmm. worldwide their top selling instruments all had the word silent in front of it. And it's supposed to be an instrument. They had that silent violin that they came silent out. Silent guitar. And the, the silent guitar. I think they had a silent trumpet even. Mm -hmm. um, when they came out with the silent piano the first time I saw it, I thought, I love this idea because you can turn off an acoustic piano and put on headphones and play it. Mm -hmm. that, I just thought that was a major change trying to control your instrument to develop the concept of teaching piano to children i mean that right there just being alone knowing that no one can hear what you're doing makes you a bit more brave and daring so you practice better mm -hmm. uh, you make better use of your time and that was just with a plain old probably not even an eight bit sample in the thing sometimes it was just a reference so you know what notes you were playing yeah, and it, like to your point, it, it builds confidence because it's there's no pressure. It's just yeah. you and the instrument. And I think that's a lot of the times why people gravitate towards digital instruments. And here we are in 2022, and digital technology has you know snowballed, and and you get yeah. and you get the best of both worlds now. And you're able to see hybrid instruments. You know, on one side you see things like the NV five. S and the NV10S from Kawhi or the NU1X from Yamaha or the N3X um, from Yamaha and you see you know how do we create something that has an acoustic action but with some digital features and this is kind of the opposite side of that coin. Well yeah with the quality of technology today those instruments you mentioned the the Kawhi top of line digital pianos the Yamaha digital piano they're phenomenal instruments mm -hmm. but everything that that those instruments do this one does. And, and it does it, I would say, a little bit better because it's an acoustic instrument it's first. It's a real piano first, and then it has the option of being a complete kick-ass digital piano with good quality sounds and a phenomenal keyboard. Yeah, and so, and so the K300 in itself is a fantastic instrument, one of the best sellers, you know, made in Japan. It's, it's where the Upright series from Kawhi, uh, the K series starts, you know, you see the, the upgraded features, the, the more sound posts in the back, the upgraded spruce. Um, the Neotex keys, all that starts becoming upgraded and, and you get a fantastic value of an instrument in the K300, but then they also add in the RS system, which isn't just a silent system. No, no, the silent, the, the, that was probably not a thing we should have mentioned. This is a digital system that 
Well, I'll let you talk well, about that. Well, so it's, it takes uh, the technology of, hey, the big piece of spruce in the back, that's a speaker. What if we use that as our speaker for this digital piano too? And so uh, it's clean and concise. That's what I like about it. It's just it's just such a there's no speakers. I remember when the the, the old ones you had to have a speaker mounted in mm -hmm. the back, and this is awesome. So you can t literally turn the volume up and down of what's coming on, what's what digital sound is being reproduced on your acoustic speaker, your your piece of you know your solid piece of spruce on the back. So. Um, whether it's string samples that you're playing and it's vibrating off the back of the wood, transducers are actually putting that sound onto the acoustic uh, soundboard. And uh, not only are there the 90 sounds that are included with the, uh, the Aura system, so you know the, the app is all controlled through your phone. We've done a piano remote app video. Uh, make sure you check that out. That is the actual controller for the, the Aura system. Uh, so the piano remote, you go through, there's 90 sounds. You can record on it, so you can record uh, playing a piece um, and then also go back and overdub it with a sound and then play all that back and actually play over it. So there's... Well, yeah, but you make sure you use one of the 100 drum beats in there so you actually have something... To play with. To play with. Yeah. And you and can put a bass part down with the drums so and you start, jam on top of you it. You start creating with it um, and you're hearing the sounds come off the soundboard, the drums, the piano, the strings, all that's coming out off of the soundboard. But you can also mix in the acoustic strings of the piano. So you can, uh, there's the middle pedal activates the system uh, or activates the silent part of the system uh, that can pull the hammers back so it's not striking the strings. Uh, but then you can also get, get creative with it and play strings with digital sound all coming off of the soundboard. Right. Um, so really it kind of just gets very in depth really quickly um, and is hard to, to talk about. So I think we should show some of the playing now because um, this is just a lot of fun to play. And we'll, we'll mix in both. We'll play the acoustics piano by itself at first. Then we'll cut in just the digital sound off the off of the uh, wire. Yeah, we'll wire it in, and we'll hear, listen to the sample um, straight from the from the audio out. And then we'll do the digital sound off of the off the soundboard on the back, so it's mic'd up, and you're hearing the digital sound of the SKEX rendering. And then you vary some of those digital sounds with the real piano. Yeah, and we'll, we'll sprinkle in. That's the real fun. That's where the fun machine. Part so let's is. let's take a listen to it because it's just a fantastic sounding instrument. We'll come back and talk about a couple more features that make this, I think, the best instrument for a studio.
Patrick, I loved your demo and playing in particular. The acoustic piano with the orchestral strings behind it. That, 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 that is a treat. Me. That's a treat to play because it's <clears throat> you feel you feel the strings vibrating the whole cabinet of the instrument while you're playing it. It's it's really kind of surreal. It's there's nothing else that's like playing. Orchestra this. in your hands. It's and, really a cool feeling. And to hear it and then you know you can take this, the piano out if you want and then hear just the strings by itself uh, it really kind of it, it's inspiring and, and i think that's why we int we introduced this piano as one of the you know awe inspiring it's it's drives creativity it really makes you want to try things that you've never tried before um, and uh, i'll tell you what it is it has the ex excitement of early midi days mm -hmm. when when keyboardists and musicians first started connecting synths together and keyboards coming out with these huge fantastic chained up sounds and these big this thing here is just all compact and it's just like that in a nutshell and if you want to get really creative with this this is where we'll, we'll kind of go off the rails if if this goes you know this would might go over a lot of people's heads but it's it's uh what this instrument can do if you really wanted to um, it's going to require some connectivity but um what we did in the previous generation of the r system we we did a sample of this with uh with a synthesizer. But what you can do is you can use the MIDI in and out to control a synthesizer. So you're controlling what's going on in the synth. At, so you get the nice feel of the acoustic strings. But then you run the audio out of the synthesizer and back in through the audio in on this. And the audio in is picking up what's coming out of the synthesizer and it's projecting it off of this, the soundboard. So what you can do is you can control a whole synthesizer with a beautiful piano action, a K300 piano action. You're controlling what's going on, what's firing off in the synthesizer. Then the synthesizer is running its audio out so it's being projected off of the soundboard and you can mic that up. And what's cool about that is you're not just getting an audio out off of, you know, off of the instrument and into your recording device. You can actually mic it up and get these cool acoustic properties of a wooden soundboard vibrating a lot like an acoustic guitar, how the strings right. are strong, but then uh, what's at, the sound you're hearing is actually the, the wood vibrating. Uh, so you really can get creative with this machine and do that with any MIDI device, with any sound going audio in. Um, and that's not even to mention that there's Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI available on this. Um, so it's really easy to control with your phone, uh, Bluetooth MIDI. It's really easy to, uh, to pull recording files off of this and just you know immediately save the MIDI file and say hey I, this was the MIDI file I played mm -hmm. let me get it into you know into GarageBand or get it into you know whatever whatever tracking devices you're using, um, but just it's it's kind of crazy what this thing can do. It, it really is uh, when you think that you know a band could come in, four piece band drums bass guitar and have a piano player thinking he's going to use the piano in the studio this is what they have and they think hey man you got digital sounds on here, you got that great Rhodes and that Whirly sound and then we can put some strings in it and we can fatten up our songs in ways that we never imagined before. Yeah, and, it, and it's it's so different too because it's not just the digital sound, it's actually you're going to be hearing it and miking it off of the back of this hopefully to have acoustic properties. To have acoustic properties and not just it, you know, the, the real vibration of it reproducing that sound is right. going to be off of the off of the wood soundboard. So you just get something that's, you know, in between the realm of, of it's it's eth 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 ethereal, right? It's yeah, like in yeah, between it's very, oh, it's realms. A phenomenal. The nice thing about it is when you set it on a nice, gorgeous uh, pad sound in the background of the piano or something. It just what I I guess the reason why I really love these pianos is when you work in a store. A lot of times people come in and play piano, and they, it, it's not always easy to listen to. Most of the things that people play in here sounds pretty cool because they're they're amazed like wow you press one note and you're hearing all these things and so another one and another one and so it's a joy to kind of hear other people experiment on it yeah no it's 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 really a cool piece of technology and if you had the pleasure of owning one or playing one please leave comments i i really think this is one of those every studio should consider getting one of these an in-home application with this would be you know phenomenal it's it's uh it's really taking the the pleasures of a digital piano and you know having something that's never out of tune that you can put headphones on that you can record with that you can be alone with and the acoustic properties of having something that's very full and rich and sounding and and plays exactly the way you want it to it kind of marries those together um, and just a treat to play the k300 it also is available in a k500 the bit bigger model um, and then there is a reduced version of it in the k200 which is the uh it's just they the silent the version. Sounds, yeah, it, well, it doesn't have the transducer. It doesn't play out of the back like a, a full sound. It will just be a silent system. Um, 
And so K300RS, again, if you haven't had a chance to play one, come see us at one of our stores. We'd love to interact with you and show you a cool demo of the K300RS2. Um, thank you guys for watching. Again, please make sure you're subscribed so you can see more great content, hear the latest and greatest of pianos, and see more of Ted and I. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.